my beautiful glam sisters, welcome to today's video. We're gonna test out the brand new Natasha Denona Baby Gold Palette. We're gonna create this easy smoky eye and then we're gonna go over all of my top recommendations for this year's Sephora sale in the eyeshadow category. This is part three of my series. We're just gonna have some fun. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, Glam Fam, let's get started. If you're new here, I'm Christy. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join us, we're here every Friday and Sunday and we just love for you to become part of our family. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below, it really does help my videos out. I greatly appreciate it and I just love meeting so many incredible women every week. Our family is really growing and I just wanna thank you all for just sharing this experience with me. We are almost most to 12k so let's get there by 2022 and if you're new here please remember to hit that subscribe button all of that stuff when you hit the like button when you comment below it's a free way to support my channel and I greatly appreciate it all right so that we're not talking too much and we jump right into this because we are doing an eyeshadow look and then I'm gonna give you even more Sephora recommendations but we're gonna really concentrate on eyeshadow palettes and eyeliners anything related to the eyes I did some stuff in the first video so I won't retouch on that so make sure you check out my part one and that was a get ready with me in that video I showed you guys the new Charlotte Tilbury hypnotizing pop shots as well as one of the mothership palettes from the past so be sure to check that out plus I give you a lot of recommendations in that video and then you can also check out my part two which was all recommendations of makeup so be sure I have some little fun Sephora holiday gift sets in there as well and now we are tackling eyeshadow palettes and kind of like eyeliners and anything related to that. Eyeshadow sticks, we're gonna cover that at the end of this video. So make sure you check out the time bar. Everything's in the description box below all of the timestamps, just in case you wanna skip to any portion of this. But we are gonna focus on this little new baby gold palette from Natasha Denona. Oh my gosh, you guys, you don't even know how excited I was to get this. I know I say that in every video, but I mean, I love makeup. What do you expect from me? But this new baby gold palette is off of her gold palette. I do not have the gold palette. I am very jealous to all of you out there that own the big size gold palette. I'll show you right there. I am obsessed with those colors in that palette. And I do have the mini gold. It is absolutely beautiful. I know Hannah and our UK, one of our UK glam sisters just picked up the mini gold and she let me know that it was available on lookfantastic.com. So always be sure to check my community post because I always post it in the community tab. So I appreciate the fact that she really just focused on three shades from the big gold palette that are wearable to everyone. I'm so happy she did it this way instead of adding in a pop of color because although I appreciate it and that's what I love about that gold palette is that there's pops of color in there, not everyone does. So this is amazing for traveling, you guys. Seriously, I will be bringing this on any trip that I go on because it is so incredibly tiny. I love the gold detail. Uh, only thing I would say on her packaging people is, let's kind of get that straight because that just looks a little, I'm, I'm just being really hypercritical, but does it not look a little cheesy having that sticker not situated there? That's the OCD part of me, but you can take a look. I kind of took some up close video shots in natural daylight, not in studio cameras or anything like that. Whenever I do the up close shots, if you're new to my channel, that's all shot just on my iPhone camera in natural daylight. So I really want you guys to be able to see what it looks like up close. This is Natasha Denona's limited edition baby gold ornament eyeshadow palette, again for $19. This palette contains three sumptuous shades from Natasha Denona's cult favorite gold eyeshadow palette. This adorable miniature is perfect for the holiday season. It's free of parabens, cruelty-free, gluten-free. So you get three eyeshadows and each pan contains 0.02 ounces and 0.5 grams of eyeshadow, just so you guys know that. The first shade is a dark brown with a creamy matte finish. I love her creamy matte formula. It's my favorite out of Natasha's 
matte formulas. And then we have Oro, which is a warm gold with a metallic finish, unbelievably beautiful. Sandstone, which is a cool yellow beige with a creamy matte finish. The total palette size is 1.4 in width and 2.88 inches in height. It is a beautiful, beautiful color story. You've got that perfect color to create definition, smoky eye, you get that perfect brown depth. And that is like one of the best chocolate browns I've ever seen. And then you get that gorgeous gold metallic, which is just unbelievable. And then a nice transition shade with that, like she said, more of like a yellow undertone uh, camel color, I would say. It's just perfect. You get the transition shade, the uh, definition shade, and you also get that center gold metallic. This is just nice because you can use this for an everyday look. I mean, in the daytime, you could just use that, san um, this like sandy brown color, camel color, as just a transition shade. And then at night, build it up and maybe just do a little bit of the yellow gold. So that's what I love about this little palette is I do feel like she gave us one of each and traditional colors that really fit a gold theme. So let's start off with the transition shade. But before we jump into that, I want to show you guys, this is a recommendation. I may pop in some recommendations in the middle. This one for sure. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is $30. And I'll show you really quick before I show you how I applied it. That is the savings you will get with Rouge, VIB, and Insider. And make sure that you're looking at the amount on the bottom right there. So it's $30. And the price I showed you is the price that you're going to pay with the discount without tax. So remember that as well. I'm just showing you that price and what you're saving. So it's 20% off the the regular price here on the bottom. So I just want to make sure I clarify that. So this is Maroon Glacé and I usually apply it with like my little Hakahoto flat concealer. Well, I don't know what this type of, I think it's more of a liner brush, but I love using this as a concealer brush. And this is the Hakahoto. I'm not sure I'll have to put the number in the description box below or right there. I'll show you guys, but this Hakahoto flat brush is my absolute favorite because it's soft enough to really apply that concealer. And then I take my Sephora pro 71 concealer brush. I absolutely love this concealer brush. It's amazing. And I will show you guys, you get 30% off of this brush. So I'll put the price point on the bottom right there of what you're saving. And everybody, Rouge, VIB, and Insider, you all get 30% off. And that sale goes from October 28th through the 7th. And I love applying that concealer on my eyelids when I just, I'm not really trying to do too fancy of a look. And this one I think is gonna be pretty simple. If I'm really going in to do full glam, I'll use my MAC Soft Ochre for the eyelid, but for the most part, off camera, this is what I go to this NARS Complete Concealer. It's just my favorite. And I always clean up my brows with this, no matter what, no matter what look I do. So I am running low, I will be, repurchasing that during the sale time. All right, let's jump into this look. I also wanna quickly, sorry you guys, there's just some quick reminders because I only put out two videos a week. BK Beauty just came out with their brand new core collection of brushes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am blown away. So this is designed and inspired by some of their best selling brushes, 100% cruelty free, vegan fiber, more consistent fiber and less breakage is what they say. This core line of extension brushes includes, you get what, five face brushes and four eye brushes. This brush right here is what I applied my concealer with and I'm using the one size concealer today. This brush, this is the BK Beauty brand new 109. This is like BK Beauty 101 and Angie A, uh, the miniature version, Angie A506. It's as if these two had a baby and they came out with this guy. He's right in the middle. It is just perfect. It's everything I was looking for in a concealer. This one was a little too small, although I use this all the time. And as you can see, I'm patting in my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I love using this for a multiple amount of things. So sometimes when I just want a little, like I'm doing my eyeshadow and I get just like a little bit of a mess up and I cleaned up, I dusted off all the fallout. What I'll do is I'll take my powder and just pat it in with this brush and it's phenomenal. It's actually a really 
good concealer brush if you like something really tiny. For me, I just like something big. And you guys know I always use my Milk Cosmetics. This is not available anymore. So I had been on the hunt for a good concealer brush. This is everything I was looking for. This is BK Beauty 101 Baby Sister. Like it is unbelievable. So I did my foundation with this guy, the bigger one, and then I now can do my concealer with that one. So thank you, Lisa. You did a fantastic job. You can check out her video. I'll link it below. And, and she goes over all of these brushes, but we will be using these brushes along the way. One other one that really stood out to me, BK Beauty 112. This one is unbelievable. This is everything I was looking for to really contour the cheeks and the jawline. This one is perfect for getting in there. I use this today and just really getting into the contours. It fits perfectly. It's that perfect amount of soft and dense at the same time. It's actually not even dense. It's more soft than anything else. But what, why that's nice is because it's going to give you a softer line. It's not gonna be a harsh line. Sometimes when they're too dense, they can create that sharp line that isn't as diffused or airbrush looking. So just always keep that in mind. Let me kind of start to blend that out because I didn't mean to do that. But I had to mention that really quick. There's a lot of brushes here. So we will be going through them as time goes on, but I wanted to mention a couple of those really quick. Again, we're gonna use the eye ones today. So this is the new core extension eye brushes. So we'll start off with, let's use, the bigger one for this one. So this is the brand new medium blender. This is 212. So very excited to try these out. We're gonna go into that shade called Sandstone. Let's pop that into Sandstone. So pretty. Our beautiful glam sister, Michelle in the UK, she was letting me know uh, today when I read the comments that Feel Unique is now Sephora in the UK. So you guys now have a Sephora, I guess they took over Feel Unique. So just an FYI. Hopefully, she was saying that she doesn't think that the sales are gonna happen there though. So I don't know if any of my other beautiful UK sisters know if you guys get any of the Sephora sales. Well, oh yeah, that's like the perfect transition shade. Can we just talk about that? I really like this brush too super soft. Now let's go in with the new 210. This is a really good one for my nose contour. I actually used it. It was my, that was like actually the perfect brush to really create that line. So we may use that on the, actually we'll use that on the lower lash line. Actually, let's do that now. So let's take the same sandstone on there and let's, oh yeah, this is so nice because it's so soft. I'm going to have to get backups of these because this is a really good brush. And us mature skin ladies, we really need brushes that are soft and gentle on our skin. We have a lot going on down there, so we have to be careful. Oh yeah, that's pretty. See, that could just be pop on some mascara and there's your daytime look right there. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury powder really quickly and I'm gonna take that Sigma brush, uh, the E61 All Purpose, and we're just gonna go above now and all I'm doing right there is just diffusing out any edges. But that's what I love about that. Alrighty, now I'm going to take this BK Beauty 211 and it's a little bit more of a defined brush. And we're just gonna go through the crease and build up the darker color. So going into, this is the shade Log. Again, that is just a beautiful, just a perfect medium dark brown is how I would say that. And it's her creamy matte formula. I'm obsessed with this little baby palette. I have to tell you guys. I'm just gonna pop that one through the crease right there. I'm gonna take it all the way in because I like to round out my eyes. If you like to have more of a almond and more exotic eye, then keep that darker portion on the outside. I like it more rounded. That's just my taste, my preference for my eye shape. I like to concentrate a lot of that dark right here in the middle, and that helps round out my eyes. And then I'll take the excess and pull it onto the edge. So I'm gonna actually go in with my miniature A504 from BK Beauty. It's the Angie one. It's a little bit smaller, and for me in this darker color and my smaller eyes, I think I wanna stick to more brush like 
this. I'm just building up that color slowly but surely. You guys really need to try the BK Beauty brushes if you haven't. Especially for my girls out there that like cruelty free stuff. Like this is unbelievable. Their brushes are unbelievable. And you can use my coupon code Christy10 at checkout and get 10% off. Let me go back to the um, new BK Beauty 211. I'm gonna go back into that camel color, the transition shade, and we're gonna go above that. Okay, let's start putting the gold on. So exciting, you guys. Oh my gosh. Can we just talk about how pretty that is? <laughs> okay, we're gonna use a finger for this one. It is so incredibly beautiful. I think we all know my passion for gold. All right, I'm just gonna put that on the... Oh, she is pretty. Like that same color, the oro. So good. Oh my, oh me, oh my. All right, going back to the other lid, finger fur. I like to lay down a majority with my finger and then go in with a smaller brush for detail work. Oh gosh, do you guys see how that just glides on our mature eyes? Oh. Oh, oh, she's pretty. We're gonna go back into Log on my BK Beauty A504, and we're just gonna kinda start reinforcing that V. We're gonna take my BK Beauty 208. You guys know I love this for liner. I'm gonna take that dark brown and start using this on the lower lash line. Like always, we're just gonna use this as a liner. I absolutely love how precise this BK Beauty 208 is. It's my favorite way to apply liner. It's just the best brush out there for that. Creating that upper line helps me to connect to the bottom so that everything is cohesive. Now I'm gonna go back in to that really smaller pencil brush, the 210. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we are done now. What I wanna do is, because this one is a little bit brighter and darker, I'm actually just gonna, just for my own preference, just take, <laughs> that was good, take my highlighter. This is just my Jaclyn Hale and Sparks. Really beautiful, like yellow gold. You can do any highlighter you use or any goldish color you have at home. You can keep the look there, but what I wanna try to do is just take this down the center just to brighten that up a little bit. Just right down the center. See how that just gave that little extra touch right there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Going back into Oro and the Natasha palette. I'm just gonna go around the edges just to make sure we have, kind of going over it a little bit so it's not so obvious. All right, you guys, so I decided to jump back on camera really quick because I was cleaning up about to put my lashes on and I realized I wanna use this. This is the Danessa Myrex Mini Lightworks Palette and we're gonna go into this shade right there. I mean, this is gonna go perfectly with this look, you guys. Gonna go perfectly. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. And I was about to talk about this one anyway, so why not use it? I'm gonna go on my brush. This is called Soul. That is what I was looking for. These metallics are like a mature lady's dream come true because they're so incredibly soft, buttery, and they last all day. Okay, perfect. All right, now we're gonna pop on my lashes. I'll be right back. All right, Glam Fam, that is how the final look turned out. Once I popped on my Amy June lashes, I feel like the look just came together so beautifully. I did wanna pull out really quick while I was off camera. This is the mini gold palette. So baby and mini next to each other, just so you guys can see. And then I'll show you some up close shots right there. It is really a beautiful palette. That is a new mini gold, cause mine got pretty messed up. I used it a lot. As you can see, it has those pops of kind of like an army green metallic, like almost with a brown undertone in it. And then you have that really beautiful matte moss green, I can say, probably it looks like more of a moss green. And this transition shade's a little different. This one has more of a cool undertone. This brown one, let me show you guys. This one is the, the new baby and that's the mini. But definitely different. If you own the mini gold, you're not repeating any colors from here. They just complement each other, but they're not the same. So just so you guys know that. But oh my gosh, I highly, highly recommend this baby gold 
palette. So I'll show you the price points right there, what you're saving. So you're paying what, like $15 if you're a Rouge member, that's pretty good. So some good little savings there. It's not a whole lot because it's either 20, 15 or 10 off of 19. So you're not gonna see that much of a savings, but you're getting a savings during that event. So really beautiful. The mini gold is also a really gorgeous one to pick up if you want more tones in that range. Both of them absolutely gorgeous. Let's talk about this Dinesse Myrick since we're right here. This is the Mini Lightwork Volume 3 Experience Palette. So I actually am glad I stuck with this one and didn't get the newest one or the first release of this because these are more colors I would use. And I just can't even tell you guys how incredible. You can take a look at the swatches. This is one of the most unique and beautiful metallics I've ever seen. And it really complements any Natasha Pat McGrath Visi Art palette that I have. You guys know those are my top shadows right there, each one of those categories. So that is just a gorgeous palette and the price point is not excruciating like most. I know some of you, when I talked about this originally, were like, oh my gosh, I want that palette. This is a good time to get it. You're getting a good savings. The next one I wanna just roll right into is the Dior Backstage Eyeshadow Palette that I will be doing a look with. That look will go up next week in just a separate video on its own. And that's the 008 Khaki Neutrals. That's the newest shade. And that one runs $49. You can see the same savings you'll get with Rouge, VIB, and Insider. And I really, really feel like this palette is absolutely worth it just based off the swatches and the color story. So this is a really, really good new palette. If you're into greens, I highly recommend. I'm gonna show you the swatches since we're not gonna get to this look till next week, but you get that uh, creamy base. You really can't see it on my arm right there. That's just like a, like a cream base that you can use as like a, instead of your eyeshadow base. But each one of those swatched absolutely incredible. This palette is absolutely worth it to me. I think that's a pretty darn good price point too, $49 for a luxury brand like Dior. I think that's pretty good. Of course, this is their backstage line. So highly, highly recommend. The next one is by no surprise to many of you, my Vizzy Art 03 Bridal Satin is back in stock at Sephora. It's $80 regular price. So when you look at 20% off of $80, that's the savings you get and that's the price you would pay. That's what I'm showing you guys. So just remember, it's 20% off of $80, 15% off of $80, 10% off of $80. And I'm just showing you what you will pay. Okay, it's not 20% off of 64. It's 20% off of 80, which gets you to 64. Just to clarify that. But yeah, it's a really, really gorgeous palette. You guys know I literally cannot live without that palette. It's so incredibly beautiful oh my gosh you guys it for me this is worth it because i use actually i do use that one i use probably a majority of these shades i use that dark one i use the blue one when i create blue looks but this one for inner corner is just everything to me i mean they just they're they're satin shades they're not metallic but they're just so soft and smooth and beautiful just absolutely so easy to work with and i think that's the most important thing especially with mature skin and mature eyes I mean, I'm almost 45, so for me, I'm looking for textures that glide, that I don't have to do a lot of tugging, that's gonna stay there, that's not gonna break apart. So really highly recommend this, you guys. Really, really beautiful. The next one is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metal Eyeshadow Palette. You guys know I just was completely blown away by this palette. You can check out my full review on it. That is, oh, it's one of the most beautiful palettes I've ever seen from the packaging to the actual formula. This one is $55 and then you can see what you would be saving with 2015 and 10% off of $55. So really good savings, really amazing formula with Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can't go wrong. You can just check out. I go over all the swatches and all of that in that video. So be sure to check that out. The next one is my brunette palette from Melt Cosmetics. Now I've never done a look with this one, but oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot tell you how much I reach for this off camera when I really want a good neutral warm look. This is one of the most beautiful 
formulas and shades and color stories. It's a nice size pan. If you like browns and golds and neutrals, you're going to die over this palette. It's seriously, this formula is incredible. And Melt Cosmetics in general has amazing formulas, but it can be sometimes hit or miss with some of the shades. Now, when they used to come in the magnetic pots, I felt like they didn't skip a beat, but with the palettes, sometimes there's hit and misses in the, in the palettes, but this one, all of them perform amazing. This is an incredible palette. I do not have a video on this because when it first released, I didn't do a video, and then I felt like if I pulled it out again, is anyone really gonna care? So comment below if you wanna see a look on this. If I can get a lot of comments on creating a look, I'll do one. I'll do a separate video on this, but this is a really gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I'll show you the swatches right there. I mean, every one of those were one swipe swatches. It's just that one and done easy palette. This is a palette to travel with. This is because you get all your standard shadows besides the makeup by Mario Master Mats. But if you like metallics, the metallics are so incredibly creamy in here. I mean, you can see they're very rich. I mean, just beautiful. This one right here. Oh. This uh, like champagne toned one. I mean, look at that. It just goes on and on. It's incredible, incredible, you guys. Ugh, I cannot begin to tell you how beautiful this palette is. I don't even think my words can describe it good enough. So this runs $48, and then you can see what 20, 15, and 10% off of 48 would look like. So that's a pretty good little savings right there for us Rouge members. This is a really, really good one. I actually picked that up during another sale and I'm like obsessed with it now. The next one is the Natasha Denona Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. Thank you to our beautiful Glam Fam sister, Amber, for letting me know that that was on sale and it's currently still on sale. So hopefully it will stay that way through the sale because you'll get an extra 20% off of the sale price. So on sale, it's $64.50. Regular, it's like $129 or something like that. It's her normal palette price size. So you're getting a really good discount during the sale. I picked it up for the $64.50 sale price point, but I wish I was able to pick it up for this price. So this is what it looks like. Beautiful. It reminds me of what the gold one, but the gold one was more gold. A nice variety of warm shades. This is another warm palette like the Melt Cosmetics one, but really, really gorgeous. I mean, these metallics are extraordinary as Natasha Denona always does with her metallics. Just so incredibly creamy and beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous, absolutely stunning. I'll show you guys what the up close shots look like. So I'm thinking maybe like a fall look with this for November might be really beautiful. I was gonna pull out this Anastasia one, but we'll see. And I would say at Sephora, those are my top picks for palettes that I own. Now let's go over the ones that I don't own but are on my wish list. I can't promise you guys that I'm gonna get all these palettes or even maybe one of them. I don't know, we're gonna have to really see, but this is the ones I have on my list. So Tom Ford Eye Color Quad Eyeshadow Palette. I've never owned a Tom Ford palette and they look incredible. And that one is $90. The one I have my eye out on is 29 Desert Fox, which is like a pale orange, shimmering gold, light warm brown, deep brown with red undertones. Really, really, really beautiful. So I have my eye out on that one in De La Creme. So we'll have to see. I don't know if I'm gonna pick that up, but that looks very intriguing. And I like that little discount I get with Rouge at 20% off, a good little savings there. So we'll see, we'll see. But let me know if you own a Tom Ford palette in the comment section, because I would love to know what you think of them and if you think it's worth it. The last palette I have on my list is the Groulon. I don't know if I say that right. Ombre's G Quad Eyeshadow Palette. I've had my eye out on this since it released a few months ago. And I just keep going, oh, I can't afford $85 right now. I have to buy too much other makeup to review, but that looks really beautiful. So I have my eye on, I think it's called 940 Royal Jungle, which is brown and gold shades. I mean, do we think we love brown and gold? I mean, seriously, this girl loves her brown and gold. So that one looks really, really beautiful. And that one is priced at $85. 
and that is what you would save for Rouge VIB and Insider. But it looks really stunning and I really would love to pick up at least one of those palettes I have on my wish list. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know, do you own any of these? Let us know in the comments section, but those are on my wish list. The next item are the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. You guys know I talk about these all the time. I love Goldmine. This is so beautiful. Now this is like one of those I would say get it. This would have been beautiful underneath this shadow, but of course I wanted to test out the shadows on its own because I'd never tried the gold palette. But $18, not a bad regular price point. And then when you get the 2015 and 10% off, at least you're saving some money. The next one is the Tarte Quick Stick Waterproof Shadow and Liner for $25. I just did a video on this where I included it in the video tutorial that I did. So I will flash up the card right there. That one is so amazing. Out of all of the shadow sticks, I think that's the best in my opinion. So I just picked up Golden Bronze and I'll show you guys what it looks like right there and the liner it's like a brown liner and a golden bronze maybe we'll use that in a look coming up because that one is really pretty but the one I used in the video was the taupe one and that taupe oh my gosh it's incredible you can check out that video it is one of the best shadow sticks on the market and now they have a tarte 30 second eyeshadow and liner duo set this is 30 five dollars a 75 dollar value guys for 35 dollars and that's regular price take 20 percent off of 35 dollars and that is what you are saving right there with rouge vib and insider that's an incredible gift to give your loved ones it is amazing amazing quality you get the mauve luster in black a black liner mauve luster is a shadow stick you get rose luster in warm brown and champagne luster in burgundy so you don't don't get the two that I just showed you. That's the only downfall to that, but you get three other ones to try out, but you can still buy the other one individually for $25 and still save money. But they are really, really incredible. The next one is the KVD Beauty Tattoo Duo Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Set. I just went over, this was in another set. This KVD Tattoo Liner is one of the best liquid liners on the market and you're getting a set for $29. That's not bad, you're getting two. So that's a pretty good price point. I know a lot of you out there like that waterproof liner and use it and probably use liner more than I do, but that is a really good value right there and that's what you will be saving. So you'll get 20% or 50 15% or 10% off of 29 and that would be your savings really awesome one so you get two full-size waterproof liquid eyeliners you get the trooper black and the mad max brown uh, about 0.55 grams each just so you guys know that the next liner is what I have on my wish list And that's the Colfi underlined Kajal clean waterproof long wear eyeliner for $20 and then you can take a look at the savings of what 15, 20% off and 10% would look off of $20. Really good price point right there. Really good time to try something out. I have rain check, so that blue on my list, just because I don't use too many liners, but when I create blue looks, I don't have a really good blue one yet. I have a couple good ones, but that I don't have that tone, I should say, but it looks really beautiful. But they have the standard colors as well, and the reviews look really good on Sephora on this, so that's that's why I kind of want to try it out. Plus I'm so hypersensitive to eyeliners that when I see clean, I, I think hopefully it's not going to, not necessarily that means it's the most amazing thing we all know clean could be taken with a grain of salt, but it looks really good. The next one is the KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner Waterproof Longwear Gel Eyeliner. Why such a long name? I don't know, but that one is $22 and I have used this. I did use it in my purple eyeshadow look video I did and that is a gorgeous formula. Just like her tattoo liquid eyeliners, 
she really nailed it with these gel eyeliners. They are phenomenal. I own two of them. The Electrum Gold looks so incredibly beautiful. That is a white gold. It's limited edition and I definitely have my eyes out on that. I have that on my wish list and I think I'm going to probably definitely buy that one because it, it's a really great formula. One last thing I do want to mention you guys is my Makeup Forever HD skin. I don't know why I left this out of the last video that I did. I talked about the Hourglass Soft Glow and I forgot to mention this one. This is my Holy Grail foundation. Why I didn't mention that, I don't know. It just slipped my mind. I had so much on my mind that day, but this foundation is incredible. This is what I have on today. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is I'm having a hard time finding my shade in the Hourglass Soft Glow foundation. So I'm still going to be on the hunt for that. I, I cannot wear shade six anymore. It just does not match me. It oxidizes into a shade that doesn't look good for my current skin tone. And I'm only going to get more pale as the time goes by because I'm going to get lazy at self tanning. So the reason reason why I probably would even choose this one over the hourglass one is this is one and one four is it's the perfect shade. It literally is the perfect undertone for me, the perfect shade, the perfect undertone. I can wear this in the summer and the winter and it's very flexible. And this formula is incredible, you guys. So it's a really good time to pick this up during the sale. You can see what you would be saving with Rouge VIB and Insider. I cannot tell you guys enough how much I love this foundation. I go over all the details of this foundation in this video so you can check out that video I did. I love you guys. Thank you for appreciating all this work that I do for you guys. It really does mean so much to me. From the bottom of my heart, I do it for you guys and I just love and adore you all so much. So if you made it this far and you haven't hit that subscribe button and you're new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell so you can get notified. We're here every Friday and Sunday and we just really love for you to become part of our family. Please give this video a huge thumbs up. Hit the like button when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below. It really does help my videos out. It's a free way to support my channel and if you guys don't mind I'd really appreciate you utilizing my Sephora affiliate link that will be in the description box. I will have it on the top. If you're in the Canada area, I have the Canada links. And then I'm going to try to find my UK Sephora links as well and include that as well. And then all of these products will be listed in the description box underneath all of that. You'll see products mentioned. You can click any of those links and it'll lead you right to whatever I talked about. You don't have to purchase anything on my list. Whatever you purchase, I get credit for as long as you use that first Sephora link. So I greatly appreciate it as a smaller channel. Uh, that is where I am pretty much making my money right now is through affiliates. So I am always transparent with you guys. That is a huge way to help me keep going and buying all this makeup to review for you guys. So I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I love you all and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys. Bye.